Hi, welcome back to our series on calculus. In the previous video on limits at infinity, I had left you with three problems to practice. In this video, I shall give you the solutions for those problems. Now, the first problem in that video was as x tends to infinity, what is the limit of x to power 4 minus 5x divided by x square minus 3x plus 1, right? So, if we substitute x equal to infinity in this fraction, we see that this reduces to infinity by infinity form. Hence, this does not work. So, as we learned in the previous example, what we need to do here is simply find out the largest power of x, which is x to power 4 and divide all the terms in numerator and denominator by that, which will give us limit x tends to infinity 1 minus 5 by x cube divided by 1 by x square minus 3 divided by x cube plus 1 divided by x to power 4. All right. So now in this if we substitute infinity in place of x what we get is 1 divided by 0 minus 0 plus 0 and this is minus 0 which is nothing but 1 by 0 which is equal to infinity. So this function tends to infinity as x tends to infinity which is kind of intuitive if you see the numerator has a larger power compared to the denominator and hence it is likely to go to infinity. If it's the vice versa it is likely to go to 0. right? That's kind of intuitive. Let's look at the next problem. In the second problem we want to find the value of the function 1 plus x minus 3 x cube divided by 1 plus x square plus 3x cube as x tends to infinity. Here again, when we substitute directly x equal to infinity, we get an infinite by infinity by infinity, which is an indeterminate form. So as per the step, what we need to do is find the highest power. Highest power here is x cube and divide the whole expression by that to get limit x tends to infinity 1 divided by x cube plus 1 divided by x square minus 3 the whole thing divided by 1 by x cube plus 1 by x plus 3. Now when we substitute x equal to infinity in all the places where x is there we get 1 by x cube becomes 0 1 plus 1 by x square becomes 0 and you get a minus 3 the whole thing divided by this is again a 0 plus 1 by x 1 by infinity is again a 0 and then a plus 3 right plus 3 divided by minus 3 which is nothing but minus 1 hence this expression as x tends to infinity tends to minus 1 right what seemed like an infinity by infinity indeterminate form actually has a well defined limit let's look at the third problem the third problem really looks intimidating it's just that expression is large but what we see here is this again is an infinity by infinity form so indeterminate form so what we do again find out what is the largest power of x right now the largest power of x is actually common across all terms which is x power 10 so there are 100 terms in the numerator and just one term in the denominator now let's divide everything by x power 10 limit x tends to infinity of 1 plus 1 by x to the power 10. So when I divide this by x power 10, it comes to this, right? Plus 1 plus 2 by x to the power 10. Likewise, up to 1 plus 100 by x to the power 10. So 100 terms. All we have done is divided each term in the numerator by x power 10, right? And we need to do the similar thing on that denominator then that becomes 1 plus 10 raised to power 10 divided by x in bracket all right now if we apply the limit that is substitute x by infinity then each of these second term in the numerator becomes 0 each of the second term in the numerator becomes 0 that means what we get is 1 plus 1 plus so on up to 100 once divided by this again becomes 0 10 by infinity is 0 to the power 10 is again a 0 so that gives by 1 
So when you sum up all 100 terms of 1, the answer becomes 100. Hence, the answer to this question is 100. So compared to all the other limit uh, problems, this is one of the easiest. So you find an infinity limit at infinity, find the highest power, divide the numerator and denominator by the highest power and apply the limits. Thank you. Keep watching MathSmart.